Hey what's up guys welcome to Fine Gap and in today's video we are going to learn how we can create a navbar in react js and we will create this type of beautiful navbar and on click on each link the url will be changes like features home and pricing and on click on these different nav links we will display different pages to our user so friends in this video we are going to use react router dome library i will teach you step by step how to create a react project how to install that library and how to use that library to create this type of navigation in your react js project so friends video is going to be more important and before starting the video i would like to request you to subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos without any delay let's start so friends first of all you can see that i have created a folder named navbar in my computer which is currently totally empty and now i am going to create my react project inside this folder so to do this i will simply click on this address bar and i will directly type here cmd so the command line interface is open here and now i have to type here npx create react app space dot because we are already in the folder where we want to create our project directories so i do not need to type here my project name so directly i will type dot and press enter and you will see that inside this navbar folder all our the required folders for react js project will be created okay friends you can see that a uh, happy hacking word here so it means that our react project is created successfully and now what i am going to do i will simply type here a command uh, which is code space dot and i will press enter it will open my project in visual studio code next i will click on the source folder and the app.js so first of all i want to run my app so i will type here npm start so you can see that our app is running now actually i need to remove this header element and save so we have a blank react application here the next part is we need to install the react router doom library to handle routing in our react application to do that first of all i will click on these three dots and terminal and now i will click on new terminal here i need to type this command which is npm i react write router dom make sure to add hyphen in react router dom and now i will press enter so the react router dom library have been installed successfully if you want to check you can open the package.json and here you can see that in our dependencies section we have react router dom installed next inside my source folder i am going to create another folder named components this folder will contain all of our components so first of all in this folder i am going to create some components for example home.js and pricing.js and features.js so currently i have created three components here so let me type here rfce and similarly i will type here rfce here and rfce here so basically rfce i am using an extension and once i will install that i simply need to type here rfce so this type of small keywords so it will create a basic structure of my component which is a functional component in all of my components so it will save time i do not need to write the basic stuff by myself next part is i am going to close all of these components and we have to open the app.js from here we have to import some component from react router dom library that we have installed so i will type here import browser router and routes and route from react router dom so we need to import these three components from our react router dom library and similarly uh, let me import my pricing component let me copy this component from here import pricing from components and pricing from here let me cut this div i'm not going to remove this but i'm cutting this here first of all we need a container like browser router inside this we need to define our routes but again we need to define a container of routes inside this route let me remove this from here because we only need these three components i need to define a single route here so let me type here a route here i will define a path for example forward slash pricing and element inside element i will put my pricing component here like this and now i will type here forward slash and this so we have imported these three components from here 
you should have a container browser router inside this we need to define our routes so basically by default the browser router will contain the paths to your domain for example you have domain abc.com so abc.com slash pricing if this will be your domain so this component will be shown to the user so let me show you so this is our currently uh, domain which is localhost 3000 and now let me type here pricing so friends you can see that the pricing component con content is displaying here let me again modify this pricing component is here and now if i refresh so friends you can see that and similarly if you want to someone put features so let me copy and paste this and features so what we want we want to display the features component here so same thing i need to do here but instead of pricing i will type here features and simply i will copy and paste this component to the element so now again let me copy this path and instead of pricing let me paste here so friends okay paste this uh features okay we need to import features from features not from pricing so now again let me copy this and paste here so friends you can see that the features component is importing successfully so the next question is how we will display links because currently in the url we are typing ourselves the question is how we can create links in our uh, nav bar so user can click on those links and uh, this features and this type of link will be uh, open so one thing you need to keep in mind you see only our this url changes uh, but in react router dome when you, once you will click on uh, any link so by default your page will not be refresh so this is what we want in our react application next we need to create a nav bar and we need to add links to our multiple pages to do that what i'm going to do inside our components folder i'm again going to create another component named navbar.js here again i will type here rfce inside this div i'm going to create a react fragment here so inside this what i'm going to do i'm going to create a link link opening and closing tag but before using this we need to import this from react router dom library so we have created a link inside this i need to type here two is equal to uh, like pricing and here i will type here the text pricing you can also put some div inside this uh, like pricing so you can give class to this div you can style this link uh, using that class but currently i'm going to show you the navigation so here i will type pricing so next i will type features so pricing and features here i need to type here uh, features before this make sure to put forward slash and here i need to put pricing so make sure to put forward slash here and now we have to open the app.js we need to import this navbar and now before this routes we need to simply display this navbar here again let me go to my application so friends you can see that if i uh, let me open the default url no page is open currently and if i click on pricing so you can see that in our url we have pricing section and if i click on features uh, so we have the features component is opening here features pricing features pricing so what so now the next part is we need to show the default home page once our url will be a simple domain for example abc.com so let me show you how we can display the home page or home component when once there will nothing in the url here let me go to navbar here i am going to copy and paste this so here we only need to put forward slash and here i am going to put home so once user will click on home the url will be uh, changes to default url otherwise on pricing and features we will display features here and now we need to display the home page so what i'm going to do let me open the home.js and here i'm going to type home page again open the app.js we need to we need to define another route which will only contain forward slash and here what we have to do we have to import our home component from our components folder so this is a component that we already created and here inside this we need to put our this home component so we also have defined the route for simple forward slash so now let me refresh my application home so we have home page pricing and features so friends we do not do any styling currently but what we have do we have created our nav bar user can click on these links to navigate another pages 
and we are displaying these pages according to our URL in our navbar. So this was the functionality and uh, uh, I think this was the main purpose of the video that we have completed and now I will do just some copy paste to style our this uh, like navbar and the pages inside our features. So I have already write some HTML and bootstrap code. So first of all, I'm going to close all of these components inside my public folder. I need to open this index.html. I have a link that I copied from internet and paste here. This is a bootstrap link. So I can use bootstrap classes in my application. Now I need to remove this index.html. Again, you need to open your source folder. And first of all, inside our components, let me open the home.js. And I have already copied that code and paste here. So this is just a uh, home.js with nothing else. We I just write here some demo uh, bootstrap classes, some divs and some dummy content here. So one thing is missing inside this. We need to import the phone image. So let me create another folder here like images inside this folder. I need to paste that phone image here. Let me show you the phone image. So we have this phone image currently and let me close this and now let me run this application if I click on home page. So friends, you can see that we have dummy content and a phone image here. And similarly, we need to copy and paste the code for features and pricing.js. So let me cut this code and paste here. So friends, you can see that inside my features page, we also have some HTML and bootstrap classes. And now if I refresh and click on features, so you can see that we have the features for our uh, phone. We have the home page. And similarly, the uh, second last part is we need to open the pricing component inside this pricing component. I'm also going to paste some HTML and CSS content. So you can see that this is going to be our pricing component. Same, but only contain some extra HTML and some content. So now if I refresh, so you can see that pricing component features and home component. And similarly, we need to style our nav bar. So again, let me copy our navbar content and I need to remove this and paste this here. So inside this again, you can see we have simply imported links and where we need to display some text. For example, let me first of all show you the output. So you can see that this is our beautiful uh, navbar. So where I need to display the home, what I simply do, I am displaying home here. So it is only contain a bootstrap class and container is the link component that we have imported from react router uh, library so inside this whole component you will only see that i am importing link component that i have already teach you that how you can use that so friends this is our current navbar obviously you can do your styling and you can design your pages according to your requirements so that's why i do not focus too much on this so currently you can see that we have created a beautiful navbar with different pages i hope that this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching